This slide is going to lead you through really the core element of the Mightier technology, which is the heart rate challenge of Mightier, which works through the interface between the Mightier app and the heart rate monitor that the player wears while they're playing. So on this slide, you can see an image of a girl wearing a heart rate monitor and she's showing you really the best place to wear it. We recommend that everyone try placing the heart rate monitor on the upper arm with the flashing lights touching the skin, worn snugly enough so that light doesn't go through. Some families find that they need to place the heart rate monitor differently. Some will put it on the forearm. Some families even have their player wear the heart rate monitor on the leg, especially very young kids and kids who have extreme sensitivities to the feeling of the heart rate monitor. One thing that we recommend against is trying to wear the heart rate monitor like a watch on the wrist. It tends to not work well at all when you wear it on the wrist. So just to show you the interface, between the heart rate monitor and the Mightier app. On this screen, you are looking at the gizmo. That's that little circle with the heart in it. And as Bear is jumping, the player is jumping as well, and their heart rate is rising into the red zone. When the player is in the red zone, the games get harder to play, which we'll talk about more in the next slide. And then players need to lower their heart rate into the blue zone to get games to play normally. This is the primary incentive system within Mightier to get kids to practice emotional regulation while they play. Kids normally, while they play video games, get up into the red zone. That makes games hard to play. And then if they want the games to get easier to play, they have to calm back down. So repeatedly, they're rising up into the red and back down into the blue. This is what it looks like in a real game. This is Hamachi Hero. It is one of the first three games we had on Mightier. We have 26 games as of this recording. When you play Hibachi Hero, you're trying to slice fruit and meat and fish, vegetables, and you're trying not to slice garbage. And this player is about to get into the red. Look at the gizmo at the bottom. And when that happens, the inhibitor is triggered. In Hibachi Hero, the inhibitor is a visibility inhibitor. There's all that smoke. The player went back to the blue, so the smoke went away. And then the player has just gone back into the red again. And smoke fills the screen. And now back into the blue and the smoke clears. Not every game has a visibility inhibitor. It varies from game to game. So in some games, there are physical barriers. Sometimes there are actual lava lings that get in your way. And in some games, the game starts to move faster or slower, whichever is gonna make the game more complicated for you. What we just saw was when a child is playing and they do not deploy the gizmo. What we mean by deploying the gizmo is that they pause the game. So what I'm gonna show you now is what it looks like when kids do deploy the gizmo. So you're gonna see this child getting into the red, which means there's an inhibitor over the screen making it more difficult to play. And in order to deploy the gizmo, you're gonna pause. So you're gonna click on the gizmo and we're gonna walk you through a variety of different skills. So this is my favorite, favorite part of my dear is that all the skills that we teach kids. So the skill you just saw is deep breathing, which every kid starts with. And then as kids continue to play, they unlock more skills um, by continuing to deploy the gizmo and collecting lavalings. So each lavaling that they collect gets totaled towards earning more skills. So the skill that you're seeing right now is crossing the midline, which is an OT intervention focusing on connecting the right and left part of the brain. The one that you're watching right now is progressive muscle relaxation, which is the third skill that they unlock. And this is really focusing on tightening and loosening our muscles in different areas of our body in order to instill a sense of calm, and each time that they go through these skills, they actually collect a leveling at the end. And then this next skill that you're gonna see is the final skill that kids unlock, which is tracing the line. So this is a mindfulness and visualization exercise that's really helping kids to slow their bodies and focus on one thing at a time. 
what I do want to say is that it is okay to not pause the game. So this last slide that we looked at that Sue showed, you can see that the kid is playing through the inhibitor. That is completely okay. Some kids enjoy the challenge. Some kids don't want to pause their game. They want to continue. They're getting practice either way because they do need to bring their heart rate back down eventually. Um, we do hear a lot of parents that get concerned about this, but it is perfectly fine to just play through the inhibitor. And kids can choose any of these skills once they're all unlocked, they can swap between them. And we also encourage kids to use skills in their own toolbox that we might not have on the Mightier platform. So if your kid has a skill that they know that works for them, they can try it out and see how it affects their heart rate. 